what's up you guys i'm here with another sneaker review and um oh sorry <sighs> got to change headgear for this one it's going to be a little muffled First off, I need to apologize because the lapel mic that I had been using on my last few reviews, unfortunately, is not compatible with the brand new iPhone 14, clearly, so gotta get a new one. Didn't even think about that until I literally sat down to record this video. So I apologize once again for any kind of technical difficulties as far as the sound goes, but this is what it used to sound like. Let's just keep it rolling with today's sneaker review. It is, as you could tell, a Halloween themed review from Nike and I'm very excited to show off this pair. I just got them in the mail, so let's check out the Nike Dunk Mid Headless Horse. So for those of you who don't know, Nike has always been known for doing shoes during the holidays, specifically on some of their favorite silhouettes like the Dunks, Air Force Ones, and lots of their basketball shoes. Two of my personal favorites they've done these SB Dunk Low Trip or Treats. One of my absolute favorites to wear during the holiday, as well as the SB Low Glow in the Dark Mummy, which has a lot of fun rip away stuff, as well as the eyes right there on the back. Definitely two fun pairs that Nike has done, but they did something on a silhouette that usually doesn't get a lot of love, and I'm really excited because it's a Dunk Mid. Let's check out the Dunk Mid Headless Horseman. All right, you guys, so my initial thoughts when I opened up the box and saw this pair, trash, trash, bruh, trash. Let's get into it. So right out of the box, these materials are so bad. They looked premium online, but in hand, they feel and look terrible. The scaly look is all bad. The insoles look like they were created from an HP printer from 2003. The sock liner is not comfortable at all. The best part about this shoe, honestly, is the soles here. But even in hand, they're just mediocre. So this is just really a garbage pair. There's nothing about it that I like. So I know you guys are probably like, oh snap, this guy actually did a video about a pair of shoes that he is not feeling. And yes, my instinct right away when I opened up the box was to go return these right away. But then I was like, no, let's actually do a video about these, um, share about them, because there's a full size run of these available on the website. And it's one of those things where I feel like if you like Halloween, if you like any kind of holiday themed shoe, this is something that when they did it online, the pictures made it look incredible. Pictures made it look premium. It was even selling or pre-selling, I should say, on StockX and GOAT for like $500. So it was building that hype. And then when I hit on the Nike uh, app, I thought, oh yes, I finally got a dub. This is gonna be a good dub. And uh, <laughs> no, this is not a good dub. This is definitely a trash sneaker. This is going to be returned the minute I stop recording. I'm gonna drive to Bellevue and get rid of this pair because it's terrible. If you guys are looking for a Halloween themed sneaker, even though we got 363 whatever days left until Halloween in 2024, I do not recommend this pair. I do not suggest that you get this pair. And listen to my guy, Predator Santa over here. Come on, bro. To quote Arnold Schwarzenegger from uh, this guy's movie. Ugly motherfucker. 